a drink, it's about time. Who decides in the minds what the future holds? No reason running from this. Perfection doesn't exist. We can keep pushing the fields with this weight on, with this weight on.
Ah, uh, there we are. Alrighty, and good evening, everybody, as we're going to get things started in this late-night edition of Valorant Action between Concordia University and the University of British Columbia's Aqua team. Both of these teams right now sitting at the top half of the leaderboard. you got Concordia University undefeated right now at 7-0. and And then underneath them is the... Uh, California State University of Dominguez Hills, followed right behind by UBC Aqua. So it's going to be one heck of a match tonight to get things started off between these two teams. So expecting a really good setup right now. Yeah, Concordia, 7-0 and on the season. UBC Aqua is 6-2 and at the moment. Actually, I believe Concordia is... Uh, awaiting a... There was one more that we played. So we should actually be 8-0 and right now um, to match up with the uh, eight, that, uh, UB, eight games that uh, UBC has played. But uh, UBC has Aqua was able... or has only lost to CSUDH Crimson, who is the... California State Dominguez Hill team that is in second place right now. Lost in 13-6, 13-9 back on March 6th. And also lost to UNK in week one, where UNK was able to win uh, that in uh, three rounds. And so here we are. Concordia has yet to drop one, and we're going to get things going. Fracture is our first map of the evening. So, Concordia going to be setting a couple shots in that direction as Brandon does find the first kill of the match. Small Potato is going to be holding this angle and off to the right, that's going to be a couple kills coming through. Nicely done there. Small Potato finds one. Will he be able to spray through for more? Brandon Ingram able to find Tywood. And with only two members left for Concordia. Ooh, and that's going to be a good shock there. Small Potato is the last man alive. Finds one there. That's not going to be deep enough to... But he does get that kill. Can he get the last one? Oh, he is not able to. As he is just two shots off of that bad boy. So Concordia goes down round one here in the pistol round. And I apologize if I did not get my mic muted in time for that sneeze. That was unfortunate timing there. But Concordia losing the pistol round here. We'll go on to round two. Concordia... So far this semester has only dropped a single map so far. And that was probably up, a, well, it wasn't even up against CSUDH at the time. Nicely done, Concordia kind of just spam, like, running right in here. Small Potato gets him finally. It's finally gets taken out. Concordia trying to push as much as possible. St. Germain, though, the only man left alive. They are going to rotate away to the other side of the map. St. Germain, the only one alive. He'll recall his bot. And he does get the spike. Nicely done. So now he's going to try to find his way up to the top here. Oh, but he's going to guess wrong on that bad boy. And unfortunate timing there for St. Germain means that he does go down. And that's round 2-1 by UBC Aqua. So they'll start up two rounds here. And with the money all... Uh, evened up a little bit here now. Concordia will have the rifle round for themselves. 
looking to try to find maybe a bit of an advantage here. You got the bonus round coming through for UBC, and now we'll see how things get started here. Astrum's going to kind of come a little aggressive here up towards the corner here, and Brandon is not going to be guessing that for now. Small Potato rotating out of this position, actually. is The only one on this site is going to be Tywood. He will hear them, though, with his camera, so... Nicely done here. He finds that kill and is able to now move back into this position, but he's going to get pinched in on. Brandon Ingram is able to start that, but Kiko does get the plant down. Kiko able to find Small Potato. As now, they're going to be trying to find him all through, but Small Potato able to get those two frags back. Nicely done there, but once again, Concordia unable to get it done. And they'll lose this round. They'll be down 3-0 here on Fracture. Right now, I think Concordia just having a bit of a tough time getting that frag back. And sometimes they'll get the first frag in the round, but they won't be able to take advantage of that. And really good job by UBC to just kind of push in on the site as soon as they get the advantage and really force Concordia's hand. Obviously, with this map, it's kind of the idea that you are split one way or another, so you have to sort of commit to the site quickly or face the fact that the other team is going to try to force you out on there. So Small Potato should hear a little bit of running around here on this side. And that's going to be the ultimate coming through. All of them running onto site. Nicely done. Small Potato able to get that ultimate, but he gets taken out by Freud. St. Germain able to get the kill here. Picks up a rifle for himself and is not able to get Freud. Ashram trying to send everything he can. Can they get the kill onto Brandon? They are not able to, but Tywood does find a kill onto Kiko. Does he get traded in return? He does. So now the only person alive is Ashram here for Concordia. And he does get taken out by Brandon Ingram, so. Concordia starting down four. Oh, in this map and it is going to be a tough one for them if they can't kind of figure out the uh defense it's defending on fracture i would say is probably one of the harder maps to defend but the attacking side is also really complicated um especially if you're not able to move quick enough getting the first kind of pick in each round is not easy but is uh far easier this way than it is the other but astrum able to find two right out of the gate is going to help a lot not only is it going to help a lot it's going to give him a rifle tywood actually running over to the side as well to get the rifle himself nicely seen there and oh man brandon able to get the frag immediately on a small potato Highwood is here. What's he going to see? He does find one. Can he get the spray through the box? He cannot. Meanwhile, on the other side, Seeley does get the kill there. So now it's just the bug alive. He does find the kill onto Brandon. But he cannot clench the round. Seely does get the kill onto the bug. So 5-0 and oh right now. Is that looked very promising for Concordia. They were able to pick up two rifles there very quickly. But I think just maybe not as much patience as they needed in that retake. They needed to wait till everybody was there. They knew the exact location of all the squad of UBC, but just was not able to clench it out in the end so this time they will be able to full buy on their own it's not going to be any sort of save round for them so this time we might see though over here uh joe and freud are going to be a little bit more hesitant on guessing this corner 
St. Germain should see one here. And he is going to get taken out by Seeley. Ashram is on site, but not going to get anything done. What can Small Potato get done while he's running through here? Not much other than locating a couple individuals. Nicely done there, Small Potato able to get that kill, but how much more are they going to get here? As the other Cypher is right there. The bug taken out, so is Small Potato. Tywood giving away his position, and he is unable to get anything except for the kill onto Kiko, and 6-0 right now for UBC Scarlet, or sorry, uh, UBC Aqua. They're having quite the run here onto Concordia. Here on Fracture. Concordia gonna be in a little bit of trouble here this round as the money is not looking great. It's a bit of a half save for them, but they sort of have to force to get something done and Honestly, it might just be in their favor to kind of stack a site, and if no action happens, go for a retake. But to be a little bit more methodical about it, they're kind of just running it through and not getting much more beyond that. Nicely done there, though, from St. Germain. He's able to find a kill. Brandon Ingram, though, does get a kill on the bug, and that's going to be some damage, but Kiko will find St. Germain. Ashram coming in onto site up top. We do have, of course, Tywood. Small Potato does find two, actually. Nicely done from afar. And nicely done here. Tywood finds one. How much more can he get? There's only one member left, and they know his location. Astrum gets the kill, so Concordia finally finds a round for themselves. After a six-round run from UBC Aqua, which is... Very impressive to say the least, regardless of who you're playing or anything. It's just a really well done round from them. So, Concordia finally getting one here. And it would just be right really nice if they could string together the next six rounds for themselves. Tie it up 6-6 six, six at half, but right now, it does look like UBC Aqua. Unless there is a big misplay, they should have next few rounds sort of in there they'll have at least above 50 percent going into the half so concordia right now looking for a little bit of action here saint germain should hear them all running away i believe that's what he's listening for the whole concordia squad though has kind of rotated off and now they're rotating back towards it they're going to hear Tywood coming through here on this backside, if not see him. But they won't see him. They will know the tripwire goes down. And they will see him here at some point. Concordia, kind of gone for that. They'll do the initial setup here. And that's going to be a big couple of ultimates coming through Seely. Able to get that. Joe Byron finds a kill on the other side. Nicely done there from St. Germain getting a rifle now. And he doesn't get anything done with it, though, as he does just go down. He finds a kill. He knows the other one's underneath, I'm pretty sure. Nicely done. Can he get the defuse, though? I think he has enough time. He is able to... Oh, ho, ho, clutching the round with 0. 0.51 seconds left. Half a second left in the round, and he's able to clinch it out. Incredibly well done by Astrum. So Concordia is able to link together two rounds in a row here. Oh, that's that's some pretty high stress there, honestly. That's, that's kind of ridiculous. So Concordia able to grab those two rounds. And now we'll see what they can do in this next round. Concordia. Looking to kind of push up aggressively to start here. If they hear anything, I'm assuming, but they haven't heard anything, so... 
they haven't heard anything, but of course, as we can see, the entire squad is there, so the rotation comes through. But there is the guess, and oh my gosh. Nicely killed there, but it's not going to mean too much. It does stall them out just long enough. Now, St. Germain is going to be here. Can he get the kill? He cannot. Freud is able to get St. Germain. Ashram gets Sealy, though. Ashram trying to get more, but he's stuck between a rock and a hard place. Kiko finds him and the bug. And that is Kiko once again getting another kill there. And unable to get anything. I'm not sure why Tywood didn't have a rifle in this round. I'm actually very confused about exactly how that went down. All he had was that sheriff, and uh, fortunately, that's not going to get you what you need there, so another full buy will come through from the side of UBC Aqua, and they'll find that round, meaning the worst they can do is 7-5 in this, but Concordia is really still on the back foot. Money's bad. They've got to still kind of save up, even after winning rounds, and the other side, they're able to, for the most part, keep things just going as usual. So, right now we'll take a look at kind of what the setup's going to be over here from Ashram and the Bug. Oh, there was a little bit of a tech pause there for a second. but we will continue the round as normal going forward here. Moving around onto the back side, is it's going to be maybe a little bit of a clash of uh, Titans here. <laughs> nice kill to start, but that's not going to be enough. St. Germain is here. Do they know it, though? They do know it. And they do find the kill. So that's two easy kills going through there. Three, actually, if you count now that Small Potato's been taken out. And Concordia is trying to make something of this. But I just don't know what they can do here at this point. It's going to be a little bit of a tough round to go through. And nicely done, though. Astrum finds two. Gets Joe Byron and Seely all at the same time here. And he won't find that. The bug finds Kiko there. He's going to try and just stick this. And he clutches it! Holy buckets! Astrum gets the clutch. He was just sitting on it. Absolute insanity. I did not believe he was going to get that. They tried to spam through and didn't find just exactly where he was sitting. But Astrum able to bring Concordia to a 7-3 and a good round win for CUNE as it's still going to be tight this is a tough map for Concordia right now they're still not looking the greatest but right now Astrum kind of being the carry right now for CUNE being the man with a plan currently and now Concordia just going to Opt to defend and keep things quiet for now. Take a look from Tywood's perspective as he's kind of keeping a read on things. He's going to watch the high angle here. He should have the bug. Well, the bug's going to be kind of holding here, just waiting. Ashram is not going to continue to walk any further forward. And can he get the kill? Tywood does find the kill. Now he's got to find another one. He tries to, but he's not able to get it. So Tywood gets one. Ashram, though, falls to Kiko, who was lurking on this backside, if you don't, if you recall. And now the bug has been sort of sniffed out here. So it's not going to be a good situation because he comes out of that smoke that goes down over here. What can Small Potato do? Unfortunately, nothing at the moment. But his ult is used. And that is going to be a good kill if it can go through. It does go through. Now 
they will find Brandon Ingram, but that's actually going to be a burn onto St. Germain. And, oh, that's unfortunate. He is blinded and not able to see where he came out. That was not a good throw, honestly. Uh, there from, um, I think it was uh, Small Potato threw the hot hands up into Tower, but all it did was slow down St. Germain. Had to jump out around the corner, but they almost had that round. It was just going to be a close one. So, will we see 9-3 on the board, or can Concordia try to bring this one in? Because right now, they are going to be starting off on a bad footing. Because they won't start out with rifles this round. Small Potato will be the only one from CUNE to have a rifle, but he's only going to have the half shield. So Concordia has to kind of push forward. Can they find anything? Sealy finds one. The bug finds the kill right back, though. Small Potato able to get a kill. Hot hands thrown absolutely everywhere. And now we'll see St. Germain hold back on this rotate as Concordia is going to know. Kiko, though, does get the kill there. Nicely killed there, but can he get more? St. Germain is right here. He's not going to see the one off to his left. And that means that the bug is all the way on the far side. And unable to do anything about this, which means that it's going to be a real rough go. He pretty much runs into everything that this Cypher has to throw at him at the moment, so... Throw the smoke down, but he is going to be in a rock and a hard place. If he can't get anything, he cannot. Kiko able to get the kill there right now. That will mean it is 9-3 when we switch things around. Concordia now on the attacking side. And it's looking a bit rough right now for CUNE. That 6-0 start was just an absolute killer from UBC Aqua. When you get off to that hot of a go, I mean, you're not going to end up going 6-6 six six unless Concordia really just got their poop in a group. But Concordia starting out not able to get anything done there. And it is going to be a 9-3 curse, hopefully, for Concordia here. But... We'll see what happens here in this round. Concordia going to try to work on things here early, but right now they're all getting stalled out here over on the B side. And blinded, in fact, Small Potato. But they do get one back. Seely is taken out. Right now, Concordia with a bit of an advantage. They try to get in here. St. Germain able to find the kill onto Freud. Nicely done there. How much more can they get done? Astrum is holding the close corner here as they know on the backside there is somebody here. And nicely done there. Kiko does find Astrum, so it is going to be quite a bit. The bug does have the post plant set up, though. Stay alive. They can indeed. Brandon goes down, and Kiko also falling there. Concordia able to clench out. Or not clench out, but uh, finish out. Round 13. We'll see what Concordia is able to string together here. I'm going to doubt they'll be able to string together the full six-round offensive play that the UBC team just did, but if they did, that would, of course, really get them back into this game, making it 10-9 at that point, but right now, Concordia opting to move forward here, and they will be kind of given the B site for free, as the UBC team is opting to play for a retake. It is pistols right now for them, so it's going to be a different way to play it for them than what Concordia did in the previous go-around. And nicely done there. Small Potato able to find another frag. 
How much more can Astrum get as Astrum and Tywood kind of trading some kills there? Flawless for Concordia. That's exactly what they needed in this round just to kind of push ahead, make sure everybody stays alive, make sure the money is good because the third round and a half is always kind of the hardest round for whoever kind of won the previous two because that means there are rifles on the other side of the scoreboard. And the less kills you can give over, the better, of course. But they do have the rifle advantage now on the UBC side, and that did not work for Concordia previously. We'll see how it works here for UBC. Right now, Concordia is opting to, once again, push very quickly onto site. And once again, UBC opting to just kind of give up this site to CUNE right now. Getting a lot of damage through onto Brandon without really knowing it. He's kind of just spamming through the smoke at the moment. Concordia has the spike planted. And they are now continuing to sort of push through. Back here is the bug with the post-plant action. How much more can they find? Tywood able to get a kill, but what else can happen here? Brandon does find Small Potato up on the high ground. And now they got to try to find kills. That's nicely done. St. Germain able to find two. And there we go, attackers to win, Concordia now able to pick up some rifles for themselves, hopefully. And that is good work for CUNE. A timeout going to come through, actually, after that round from UBC. So we'll have a quick timeout here for just a minute. I'm going to guess, at least on their side, you know, losing that round was not what they wanted. I think they moved way too quickly in that round, because... They gave up sight, and that's kind of what I was saying Concordia should have done on defense is if, you know, you feel like you're not going to be able to win the outright gunfight, um, you give up sight and then just play for a retake. You you go a little bit more methodical, but I think UBC, what they had done in the previous round wasn't going to be great just because they didn't have the, the guns to do so. But in that last round, I think they just went too quickly and did not expect a couple swings from Concordia to come through, and so, honestly, I think that it was not a bad round from UBC, but if they had played a little slower, I think they just played with maybe too much earnest, but the other thing that UBC now could probably be doing is instead of giving up the site, try and make a trade, you know, try to make it a 4v4, or your, you know, open frag can get lucky and, and find the two kills um, before they get traded on site. And it looks like right now UBC will be opting to maybe stack the B site. Concordia has hit it the last three times in a row. But uh, it does look like Concordia is playing the numbers here and will be going A. And it looks like UBC is going to be guessing that. So they're going to be coming back on the rotation here very quickly. Concordia now moving through. What can they find? So they're going to try to get into things here quickly. And moving right in, Freud does find the small potato clone and now Concordia going to maybe fake a rotation I'm not hundred percent sure they kind of look like they did they're going to go for a full rotation here they will have Astrum lurking though small potato meanwhile on the far side able to get a lot of kills and nicely done as Kiko goes down as well uh, another rotation coming through, but Spike has been planted. They're looking for any sort of kill here. Brandon trying to find the kill on the other side. Tywood is here just waiting. Astrum once again just kind of like holding his position. He shoots there to... And nicely done there. Brandon able to get that kill finally. It's Brandon only at 3 HP in a dream. As he comes around the corner, a small potato will find him and take him out. So Concordia has now strung together officially four rounds here. And with two more, they'd be able to bring us back to a 9-9 game and do the impressive six-round run. But I, we're, we're going to jinx them with that. I mean, I just don't think they can do it. I think I know why... Concordia allowed the six run, but I don't think UBC Aqua will allow the full six run. 
They are getting a little bit smarter here with their defensive plays. They are being a lot more aggressive. And this is actually going to be big because they found the spike with that kill. Nicely done there. UBC now able to get kind of the early aggression through. What can Tywood find here? He's trying to find this frag. And they do find him. Freud finds two on this backside. That's absolutely massive. Small Potato, meanwhile, is moving through uh, A site completely alone. There is now going to be a hunt for him, of course, but... Uh, and he does get smacked with about everything there. And they, of course, will find him. He does get a nice kill, though, on the Sealy. Right before the end of that round. But that is 10-7, as UBC will be able to stop the run there. And get things going. Concordia screwing that one up, honestly, because they left the breach all by himself. Um, it was a force, or not a force round, but it was a save round out of UBC. So that was actually a critical round for them. That's why they rushed the A direction just to find anyone lurking. They found the bug, but on top of finding the bug, they also found Spike, which is not what Concordia wanted in that moment. So we'll have to see what Concordia does this time around to keep things a little bit safer. They are opting to kind of get everybody involved here on this A site push. Meanwhile, on the other side, they are going to be kind of just pushing through, looking for anyone lurking. Spike is going to be planted. Now here comes the entirety of UBC onto site. They're going to be coming in from satellite to get things started. Brandon, I think, used his ultimate there in that last one. Well, no, he didn't use it. He still has it. Kiko finds Tywood, by the way, on a nice kill there. And wow, it was going to be Astrum's big moment there. Freud able to find that. Small Potato finds a kill, though. And they're going to spray through. But Small Potato finds a third one. How much more can he get? Not able to get that one. Nicely done there. Nice! St. Germain able to clutch the round and get even out of the spike. So, able to get that round back, which was a big one there. It still means full buys on the side of UBC because they were able to kind of win that guessing round before. But Concordia looking a little bit better here on attack. And, I mean, like I said, defense on this map is is different than most of the other maps. Usually you want to be on defense first to give yourself that advantage, but this one is a very difficult one to get through. St. Germain is going to go here and just throw his ultimate down. And clear out the B site best he can. There is still going to be a man up in heaven, and that actually is going to be a really good take for Concordia to get everything started here. Now Concordia is going to watch the move through. And, oh, nicely done. He finds one. Finds, oh, almost able to find Joe Byron. As he does get that kill. St. Germain finds Seely, which is a good pickup. And right now on site is Brandon, but Tywood has that covered. Tywood sitting on Spike as the last member. Joe is going to be leaving. There is no reason for him to stick around much longer, and we'll see Small Potato is moving through on the other side here, but Concordia should snag this round, and Concordia has done really something they needed to happen there in this round. In this game, I guess, not this round, but in this game, which is to get back the lost six rounds in a row. And this is going to be a good round for them now as they have to force out a decision on the other side, which 
should be a fairly easy decision of a save round here out of them regardless because they are still ahead 10 to 9. Not a lot to fear on the side of UBC quite. Well, I guess there is a lot to fear. There is the pretty big run from Concordia right now of six rounds to the one. And Concordia moving around. Tywood should be hearing this entire run through on the backside here shortly. Oh, my eyes are dull. And Concordia is now moving through. What are they going to find? Pico is sort of hiding right now. And do they even find him? And Tywood gets three. So Brandon finally gets the trade onto him. And oh my gosh, nobody has seen Kiko here. Absolutely nobody from CUNE has seen this man. And there is the shot that's going to help bring it all together. Astrum able to get the kill there. Kiko up top, able to find Astrum, and then St. Germain finishes him off. As, my goodness, Kiko was hiding on site right here, right in this little nook of those boxes. And I saw his gun one time. Um, I don't remember whose POV it was. It was probably Astrum or somebody's. They should have seen it. Should have seen him, and he was just being a very sneaky little snake. I, I would guess he'll try it again, I, I feel like. He got so much information out of that. And if Concordia hadn't already kind of gotten like a 3k on the backside thanks to Tywood, I think that would have been a much better round there on the other side. As right now the bug and everybody else moving through. Concordia moving on to the B site yet again. And right now opting to sort of allow it to get pushed. The bug though... Finding a nice kill before getting traded back, but Astrum finding Joe Byron in return. So Concordia should have a little bit more control here of the site. Astrum going to hold this direction here. Exactly and they are going to see exactly where the last two members of UBC are. Throwing in a couple shots that direction. They're able to get the trade there between Kiko and Astrum. But Brandon is still here. He's top frag right now. 26 in the lobby. Healing up. Going to throw that around. He's going to be pushing immediately onto St. Germain. But St. Germain will have the better shots landing there. 11-10. Concordia finally bringing a lead to this game. They have not had the lead this entire game and have now strung together two little batches of four there. Four rounds in a row. And this has to be a save round right now from the side of UBC. They cannot, well, I mean, yeah, they cannot force here because they will be in a bad position for match point if they did. They just have to hope for what they can get here. They were once again going for the Little push from A main all the way through. And Concordia is, of course, going to continue to go on to B as they have before. Tripwire is triggered on the backside. And that's a nice kill from Kiko as he's able to get that one. Freud now on the backside here. As Concordia is moving through. Small Potato, though, finds Joe Byron. And how much more will they get? It's going to be... Cheeky little go here, as that's nicely done uh, from Brandon. Even with these rounds down, they're finding what they can. St. Germain gets taken out by Celius. He has a good flank, though, so gets a little bit of their health bars down. Astrum sending in a couple shots from that direction, but nicely done. Good peek there, Freud. The last one down by Astrum. Small Potato hiding and then coming back out. After hearing the run, so he was able to get the drop on him. And match point officially for Concordia. And right now, Concordia stringing together a massive attack rally here. A total of nine rounds going to CUNE to get them where they are. Only winning three on defense. And right now... Showing exactly what they can do here. Going to get stopped a little bit by the extra juice there, but 
We'll watch Small Potato run in, and he finds the first frag of this map. So a good start for CUNE. He has run it back, and that's going to be a very successful go for him. On the other side, run it back also going to be used. And that's actually going to be big. It finds St. Germain. St. Germain gets the kill back onto it, but that's going to be Kiko finding the bug, who's trying to defend on the back side. Brandon gets Tywood. Astrum going down. How much more can they get? UBC able to find it all. And defuse the spike. So, Concordia now losing this round. It was a good save round on the previous one. So, the defenders to win as Concordia will be on one more match point here before we hit overtime. Now, Concordia should be good on money. They've been maxed out for a while now, so they've got the cash to spend here, which is good for them. So it will be a full rifle-on-rifle rifle round. The only thing is going to be some half shields on the side of UBC Aqua. And right now, it looks like it might kind of be two forces meeting each other here right out of the gate. Nicely done. What? Who's going to win this gunfight? Just full-on gunfight coming through here. Concordia gets two. Sealy on the back side finds St. Germain. And nicely done. Astrum gets the blind off. So B site totally open as the other side, Sealy now retreating, going into their spawn. Astrum working onto site. Tywood is here. And nicely done, Kiko does find Small Potato, but he's not able to finish it off. Astrum with the final kill. A 30 bomb drop by both Small Potato and Brandon. Incredibly. Absolutely ridiculous round of Valorant being played here. You've got Small Potato with the top frag, 31. Talk about outfragging the Ascendant on our squad in Tywood, but either way, Concordia able to get that round pulled back in what was going, looking catastrophic with a 9-3 half turns into the 9-3 curse, and Concordia is able to string together the victory in round 24. So we'll be back after a quick five-minute break between these two teams, and uh, buckle up, because I think the next map is going to be Ascent. So we'll be right back. Me is a people live for the night, chasing a feeling just for a height. And when I was all alone, I found you. Me is a people can't get it right, waiting for someone all of their life. And when I was getting lost, I found you When the night turns to day And the moon starts to fade Will you be there? Will you be there? When the sky starts to rain Will you run? Will you stay? Will you be there? Right when the love runs out, world turning upside down. Not gonna let you go. Keep you close. Thousands are in the crowd. Minutes are counting down. Promise that you won't go. Right when the love runs out. For the 
light Dancing around like stars in the sky And when I was in the dark I found you But if the lightning never strikes And when the rain stops, we'll be dry When the sun begins to rise I'll find you When the night turns to day Starts to fade. Will you be there? Will you be there? When the sky turns to gray, will you run? Will you stay? Will you be there? Or will you be there? By right when the love runs out, we're turning upside down. Not gonna let you go. Right when the love runs out
everybody welcome back and we're gonna get things kicked off on a scent where concordia university is going up against ubc aqua in this week nine matchup the last week the last game of the season so cune will be facing off one more time here the undefeated concordia by the way and right now they are hoping to stay undefeated and could do so with winning this map right here. Ascent, everybody, whereas Concordia has been very successful on throughout the season. I think we lost on this map, and it's been the only loss we've had. But I'm not 100% sure on that. I'd have to look back exactly on our season. But Concordia has only dropped a single map. And on the other side... UBC Aqua has dropped five, make it six with the last one they just lost, but has dropped six maps in total. So Concordia sitting at a nice 13, now it's 14, I guess, map diff. And right now, coming around the corner is going to be Tywood and St. Germain, but unfortunately for Concordia, they are going to get met in the alleyway with an aggressive push from CUE. Ashram is actually playing the new character that we have. And 
right now, here they come around the corner. Seely finds another one. Astrum getting taken out as everybody now from Concordia is down. It is going to look to be almost a flawless round from UBC. Right now, the bug is moving back. He's got his pistol out now. He gets hit by that, and that's a bit of an unfortunate situation there. He does go down. Flawless round out of UBC. Concordia is going to have to think a little bit harder before rushing that A site yet again. And Honestly, that's been the trick with Concordia's matches has just been... Whether or not they can kind of find their footing early or not on the other side. Of course, they do have the KJ who is going to be setting up here on this site. Kiko, who in the previous round was playing the... Was playing, um, I believe it was... Cypher. Concordia opting to try to take a little bit of this mid-pressure here. And they will be doing so. The bug will hear Seely through that and... Instead, kind of opts to just sort of hide here in this corner for now. Concordia does have control of the middle of the map. Nicely done. The bug able to find the first frag there. That opens things up a little bit and actually gives a gun into their hands to start as well. Smoke coming through there. A stem beacon. Also, on the backside, Joe Byron is able to get the first kill for UBC. And finds the spike on top of that. And that is Kiko with a shotgun. Able to get the kills. Small Potato finds a kill there. How much more can he get? He finds a second one. And picks up a gun. Is able to flash Joe Brandon, unfortunately, though. He just goes down. And Kiko finds the last kill there being gifted the Spectrum too, the Spectre on the other side. So now Concordia is down 2-0. This is round three where they will be able to buy rifles and try to push this back into their favor. The mid push was very nice. It did work and gave Concordia a couple options when they got forward. I think the aggression just kind of kept pushing them further and Mike would go down in the middle of me talking about that round, but we have round number two coming through. So Concordia now moving forward. And they are going to try to push now on to the B site. And they're going to be a little bit unfortunate situation. Kiko able to find the first kill there. Finds two, in fact, and is able to hit another one. The last one remaining is Kiko. And he is going to just clutch this out, maybe? Nope, he does not end up clutching it out. And now Concordia has moved on. Waiting for his help is going to be Kiko. Oh, this reload is extremely unfortunate from St. Germain as Kiko was moving on to check that as soon as he was reloading. So no chance there for St. Germain to get a shot off. And three... Oh, now as Concordia is going to have to force a save here to be able to get back on even footing. Right now, Concordia faltering in these early rounds here. As this could even be a 4-0, you know, start once again on the side of UBC. Concordia is not able to get their gear together. St. Germain will be sitting here in the middle of the map, though, sitting there. Tywood, the first one to fall from Concordia, as Brandon is being very aggressive on these corners here, as he rightfully should. St. Germain is going to hold back, and only looking mid is going to be UBC. They won't force anything there yet. 
Astro, I'm going to throw a few shots at the other side. Brandon finds a small potato, finds the bug as he is able to push through. Spike is down, and Concordia is not going to be in a good situation here. As St. Germain is going to hold this corner till the day he dies, but he's going to die, unfortunately, probably rather quick here as he is still holding that angle. Freud does find him, and on the way backside, we have Ashram trying to find any sort of frag that he can, and unfortunately, not finding anything. Seely able to get him another flawless round for UBC. And Concordia struggling to find the early part of these matches. Now, they have adapted well, as we saw on uh, Fracture just a minute ago. They are adapting well, but it is just the start is not looking good for c and &E. And right now, they'll rifle it up, but on the other side, I mean, you've got max buys, so they are going to have to whittle it down a lot. Let's see what they can get done, and unfortunately for them, it is kind of coming down to a couple unfortunate situations. Small Potato is going to guess everything here and just has no idea, so they won't even know that Kiko is sitting there. Kiko is able to get on and get that kill, though, so he takes one at least. Brandon rushing sight, and of course nobody's going to guess it, that he just continued to run on. He did have the run it down ultimate. Tywood is on site. Tywood looking for what he can, not able to get that. Brandon able just to clean house, and Concordia goes down another round. 5-0. CUNE not able to get it done. This Brandon is literally hitting everything. 11-1 already in this game. Maxed out on his creds and looking really strong this round. Concordia having just a rough time. They're not able to find the exact um, way to get on site. They're not finding people when they get on site. And it is just as if the other squad is able just to move in the way, move in a way that they just cannot find anything. Brandon able to find one trades for Ashram. Will be a good trade from UBC to get things started. St. Germain has his ultimate on the other side. They also have a KJ ultimate of their own. As well as the ultimate side, Joe Byron will be trying just to get some information here as Concordia is stopped up here. It's a 4v4 at the moment. Concordia just kind of staying in A lobby at the moment. And we're waiting out the Astra Star there, and now they might look to push back on. Joe Byron once again trying to get as much information as he can. Finds nothing, and he is going to rotate off of A. Tywood using his ultimate, and there is going to be a KJ ultimate also from CUNE. Freud, though, able to find Tywood right out of the gate. And that's Joe Byron finding two from where he can. 30 seconds left. Stopping that entire push in its tracks. The only person alive is the bug on the side of CUNE. And not able to move that shot on. Freud does find him 6 0 and Concordia in. Once again, the same position they were last round. Losing six, this time on the offensive side instead of the defensive side. Like they were previously. And they will actually take a timeout to get things reset here a little bit. And we'll take it with them here for just a minute.
And all right, we're going to get things back on line with Concordia. Trying to find a little bit more here as right now they have not been successful in doing so. There is a pretty good mid push here from UBC. Freud able to find Tywood to get things started for them. Kiko and Astrum now turn raiding on that side. Now Concordia is able to take the B site. As that's been left somewhat unguarded. The plant is starting now. Small potato going to be moving through. And St. Germain going to hide here on this side. Nicely done there as Seeley finds St. Germain. But... They do get the Killjoy ultimate taken out, so no opportunity there for Freud. They do find Small Potato, and that is actually going to be a nice pick there. And uh, Defuse won't go all the way. It goes about halfway, though, so Kiko should be able to get it the rest of the way here. Never mind. Clutch round for Concordia. I I don't know why can, uh, Kiko didn't just sacrifice some health to get it finished there. That was kind of a strange play. Freud, um, or not Freud, whoever, I think it was Kiko. Kiko needed to get on there and sacrifice some HP to finish it off. It was halfway. So Concordia kind of able to win a freak round here. Um... Freud had, you know, gotten it halfway and then kind of sacrificed because they knew the uh, coming down from the sky was going to be the the rest of that fire. Tywood is here and not able to win the fight against Brandon. Brandon has been finding the first frags in these rounds pretty much the entire game. And right now, Concordia is struggling to stop him. He is already... So 13 and 3 right now. Astrum is holding this position here in B main. Concordia down a man is going to have to try to find out what the next opening means for them. And right now, it doesn't look like much. Kiko holding here, of course, on the backside of B, just waiting for. Any action, and they will hear that, so they'll know that Astrum's here. They... Good ultimate from that side. Now we'll see the action on the other side. Run it back from Concordia. Freud able to get the frag there initially. Seely, not sure if he saw Astrum or knows exactly, but Astrum going to hold this angle here. A small potato. Gonna get taken out. Not able to get anything. Concordia trying every angle possible and just not finding what they need. Freud able to find Astrum as well. The damage comes through. The bug. Not able to find anything. Defenders do win the round by default because Concordia just cannot get onto any site. And with nobody dead on the side of UBC... It's going to be 7-1. And they don't have to spend a dime on the other side. And unfortunately, Concordia is going to be in a really rough spot. Two people have full buys, but there's no money because nothing got planted and nothing else happened in the round in general for Concordia. The defense here from them has been, or the attack from them here has just been rough. I'm guessing Brandon saw the gun from Small Potato is why he's looking up that direction. And of course he will have the win on that. He's got the bigger rifle. And on the other side, 
Ashram's going to be kind of looking this direction, but there's just not a lot there for him. St. Germain is here. Gets blinded. Now they'll start throwing some shots that direction. What could he find? Is he able to find anything? St. Germain goes down to Joe Byron. Nothing having for Concordia right now as they are just up a creek and they don't even have a... There's a hole in the boat and there's not even a paddle in sight. Tywood able to get a rifle here. And Joe... Brandon is just able... I keep going... I keep accidentally calling him Joe when he's Brandon. Brandon able to find that. We'll watch him as he goes around on the backside. They will know exactly where the bug is. One enemy remaining. Kiko finds Astrum. Kiko going to keep spamming through. Will he find the bug? Nope. On the backside, Brandon finds the bug. And that will be Concordia. 8-1. Another flawless round, by the way, from UBC. It is getting... Tougher and tougher for Concordia to try to find anything here. You see Brandon already with 16 kills there for the round. And what's kind of getting Concordia killed the most, honestly, is this right here where he's kind of holding this in A main and just not able to find any sort of advantage there. Concordia will now have at least some full buys on their side. Do at least take that out, but I mean, they're gonna know. Nice kills there from Tywood as he comes around. Can he find anything more? He can. He finds two actually. And now he's gonna spray through here. Doesn't get any damage done, but he does find something. Spike planted. And nicely done. Freud though finds the bug, gets that kill. That is going to be his ultimate down out of Brandon, but there's enough coming through. Small potato taken out by Brandon Ingram yet again, but Brandon, of course, getting locked up, and Concordia throws the book at him to get the round win, and they will find it finally. 8-2. Right there. Right there. And two more rounds before half, so Concordia has to find maybe a bit more momentum here. Maybe try to get it to an 8-4. That would be far more manageable than a 9-3. A 9-3 curse worked for him last time, but I'm not sure if Lightning always strikes the same place twice or not. Especially not if they are going to try to go this way yet again. Brandon is here. He's ready for it. And they are going to throw up as much of defense as possible. Tywood does find Freud, though, on the back side. And Tywood, trying to look for more, finds Brandon. That's a good pick from Concordia. They go for more. Seely able to get the kill. Spike is being planted by the little buddy. Small Potato moves into a nice little position here in Hell. We'll see what more he can get done. That was a big hit there. Astrum goes down. St. Germain is here. He gets a kill onto Joe. Small potato. He's taken out. St. Germain finds another kill, which is good. Kiko is there. Can St. Germain get it? Yes, he can. Concordia able to find another round here in a critical moment. And now can they finish it off? Can Concordia find an 8 Four half, which would be it'd just be a lot more breathing room. Nine three, yeah, they did it last time. Okay, cool. But I mean, this could be it would be much more reasonable for them to try to fight back on defense with nine three. Or uh sorry, with eight four instead of the nine three. So we'll see what happens here. We're gonna take a look here from Brandon's perspective because he's gonna find Tywood immediately and everything once again getting thrown that direction. What can Concordia find mid? They were able to find the answer mid last time. And Freud gets small potato right out the bat. And that's Astrum. And taken out there. Attacker, Killjoy, Ultimate, Concordia. Able to move on to the A site once again. Tywood is here. What can Tywood find? 
They're trying to find more. Find Seely. Nicely done. Concordia able to have the five man advantage. Up against the two on the other side. Saint Germain able to find the kill on the back side. And they will know exactly where the last member is. Flawless round. Concordia finally able to find what they were looking for as they find the last three rounds of the half for themselves. But a dominant first round half again from UBC Aqua. Now can Concordia bring it back like they did before on defense? On the other side, you got Brandon. 18 kills this round. Concordia, nobody above the double digits. Oh, no one else really, I guess, above the double digits even on the other side. Kiko and Freud, one away from 10. But you've got Brandon sitting at the top of the roster. 18 and 6 right now. He's having a heck of a round, and he has been kind of just in the easy position for the kills. But he, you know, you still have to aim. You still have to hit that shot. It's not easy even though you're in that position. It's easy because you know where you're going to look. And that's Brandon finding that shot. That's impressive. He was blinded in everything and still finds the kill there. And Ty would hiding like the rat he is, dude. And nicely done. St. Germain able to get the kill on to Brandon in the corner. UBC now has to turn around and try to get back to the B site. Concordia doing their due diligence, clearing everything out. Kiko and St. Germain on the other side will be trading. As it is going to be Kiko, the only one left. He knows a couple members are back, and can they get? He gets that kill, but he doesn't expect that Tywood is also there. He heard Ashram, and I think he heard Tywood. Gets the kill on Ashram, and isn't able to find the rest. So, 8-5 to five as Concordia wins the first round. Can you believe that was the first round? It felt like it went on forever. To be the first round in a new half. Typically, they're just a... Man, I don't know if they're quicker or anything, but definitely a long round both sides not giving up space or anything there and just fighting it out a and then switching around the other side so now concordia has been gifted the first round we'll see what they can get done here as tywood is going to be moving up doing what he can he's going to see the entire push through on through mid And now they'll know that they're all moving through. Meanwhile, there is going to be a lot of fighting going on here. Nicely done. St. Germain finds one, but he finds the rest of the squad there as well. Good kill from Small Potato as he's able to get that. But Joe Byron gets around the corner. The bug hiding in the basement. So he's going to try to find his way out. Tywood marking one, and that's going to be a nice kill from Joe Byron, and I have Tywood not getting the shot, so that does mean Brandon on the far side will be planting. He's already got a 20 bomb here in this game. And Concordia is ta asking for a bit of a pause once we get here. That's not even going to be close to looking the wrong direction as Ty would. Yeah, it did seem like he kind of had a, a weird step there at the very end. So Ty would has left the building, but he will be back here in just a minute. And we'll take just a quick break while he gets logged back in and we have the tech pause.
All right, and with Tywood back in the game, done being AFK for the moment, we will get things started off back again in this round. 9-5 is the score. Concordia playing defense here and looking for the start of this game immediately here. And Concordia wanting to try to make something happen. As right now, it will be Small Potato lurking around from the far side here. And uh, St. Germain finding the first kill here. St. Germain. Oh, gee, many Christmas. And Freud able to get Astrum there. Tywood is moving on. And Joe Byron finding the headshot there. That's Freud able to get that kill as the bug finds another one. He'll move them away from one side onto the other. And, and that will be Freud finding the last kill there. So Concordia unfortunately going to be down 10-5 now. And on the other side, two rounds away. Could make things very interesting if Concordia is not able to win this, we would go on to, of course, our third map, which would make this a very long night for me. So I would prefer that Concordia try to win this one here, but with a ping difference, unfortunate, or with a big, um, not ping difference, excuse me, with uh, Tywood lagging out in that last round, that's what happened. His PC suddenly went to uh, 100 ping, and he stopped doing a whole lot of good. And he is playing a character that is... Kind of dependent on the fact that he could get across the map uh, very quickly. Off your feet. Here we go. The move getting started as Brandon trying to start things off. Meanwhile, the swarms are going to happen here. And that's going to be Brandon finding the first frag there. Small Potato going to try to hold up. Joe Byron does find a kill. And now Brandon moving around. Can he find the kill? That's a nice kill. Small Potato able to pick it up, but Small Potato now. The only member alive from CUNE, and on the back side, you do have Freud, who was able to find that kill. He was aiming in the right spot, even though he got blinded from his teammate. Was able to find it and pick it up there at the end, so. Let's see how... Things go now. Concordia a down 11 to 5, and this is a very important round for them because it is a save round from them. They have, well, I mean, <clears throat> I say it's a save round, but they have to kind of force here. Decide to save or force, and honestly, sometimes you really want to save just in these situations. And unfortunately, Tywood is not going to really peek at the right time. And, oh, he's not able to get anything out of that as Brandon finds the kill. And nicely done. Small Potato able to pick up two, though. Maybe he should just stick with that gun. And Nicely done here. Defender Killjoy ultimate will go down. And really, it looks like that's more of a force them out. And nicely done, St. Germain finding a kill. He finds a second one now down here in Maine. And can he get the third? He does! A headshot! Well done! 3K for St. Germain. From as far away as possible, he's got the Guardian and everything. As the long shots do come through for him. And the headshots even, because that crouch was unfortunate from... Uh, from Seely. Thought he could kind of crouch and maybe get underneath one of St. Germain's shots, but that one hit him right through the dome, so... Concordia wins that round, which was a huge one. That was their fourth round, of course. And they have to find that because right now, if Concordia can hold them off of this round point, that would be big. On the far side here, we have Astrum, who was sending through all the shots possible. And we got Tywood, who's trying just to keep things going. Keep things tied down there. And 
that is going to be Brandon finding Small Potato's ultimate. Now he's finding Small Potato himself. Unfortunate there is Concordia now has to try to find their way out. And that's the bug not looking the right direction. Freud able to get him. The door is now one shot away here. And the ultimate coming through. Tywood is going to be in trouble here if he can't. Kind of guess where everybody is on the other side. St. Germain finds one. How much more can he get, though? Seeley able to get that kill. Joe Byron goes down. Astrum is here, but Astrum is taken out by Seeley, who's able to find the last two shots onto both Astrum and the rest of the squad. And Concordia now in the dangerous position of match point. Round 19. Concordia has to find something and be flawless now from here on out. Otherwise, we do go to our third map of the evening, and I don't remember which one that is, but Concordia just kind of putting themselves off on the wrong foot in this round as well. Going down again, six rounds in a row going down is just kind of nutty. It's not what you want to do in any way, shape, or form, of course. But Concordia did it last time and this one, and now we just have to watch them go forward. Brandon is taken out by Astrum. Astrum able to find the initial frag there, but Joe able to get the kill onto St. Germain. Bug is sitting in a nice spot here to get things started, but with St. Germain down, actually that means all of this defense on B is useless. that's going to be Kiko finding the bug, which is a big initial pick there, especially for that mid-pressure. Got backside Tywood coming through here. And that's going to be Kiko with the initial shots to find Tywood. And that's going to be good job there from Astrum getting the kill. Stop that, but I think that unless he is able to pull off this really big 3k. get the shots he won't be able to so Concordia will go down in this round and they will lose on a cent of all places for Concordia which is unfortunate for them but we do go on to our third and final map here in just a bit we'll take a quick look at the scoreboard Brandon on top sitting there 24 and 12 That's what he finished off but you got both Kiko and Freud sitting at 15 and 9 apiece so all around now Concordia looking for the final map to try and save them. And on the other side, you've got UBC who's looking to try to finish things off with another victory and take off the undefeated Concordia Bulldogs. So we'll be back here after another five-minute break. See if Concordia can pull things back in control. so beautiful you want all my time the feeling is mutual tastes like cherry pie my guilty is pleasure bear be forever mine i want you in every way
Sorry, map number three coming in now for Concordia University up against UBC Aqua. And things are getting uh, messy as Concordia in the last two games has been dropping the first six rounds each time going on to uh, then either win or lose, winning the first one by having a very impressive uh, attacking round on that side and then losing on Ascent, where they were unable to get the full uh, benefits of defense and had to attack into a very rough setup on the other side. And it was... Or sorry, they had a rough attacking round, and then on defense were unable to uh, get back the rounds they lost. So it was a 9-3 curse on... Fracture that was able to finish and get the win for Concordia as they started. They were the three in the 9-3, so the curse worked for them. But then 8-4 on the last map, and they just were not able to get anything done. So Concordia now going to be moving in. Trying to find at least a little bit of pressure here. Kiko going to be taking a lot of damage. Can they find the kill? Small potato gets killed by Kiko, and that's going to be a trade coming through, and the bug not able to finish that off, as that's going to be a trade yet again there. And that's going to get him concussed. Ashram does find Joe. Freud finds Tywood. And unfortunately, he's going to miss that, actually. He has to get on this, and that is going to be defenders winning. Ashram gets the kill. And that, uh, yeah, he's a little frustrated there because he tried to throw his star down to pull him off the spike. And instead it lands on top of the uh, little... Oh my gosh, I'll have to... He's now, of course, Brandon. Uh, over here on the left side, the little thing Brandon, that is, uh, Brandon was looking at. That's where the star landed and got him messed up before. So that's uh, a bit unfortunate there as uh, they had a really good push and just were not able to finish it off. So, Tywood here is going to take some damage initially and now try to rotate, well, fake rotate away. Concordia going to try to bust through mid. The bug is shooting through as much as he can and does find a nice little shot onto Sealy there. St. Germain does. How much more can he get here in this position? It's Concordia right now slowly working their way forward. You do have, of course, Kiko here with a very solid look into B main. Or sorry, B main. Yeah, B or garage, that is. And Ashram now trying to work his way over on A. Concordia slowly trying to find the answer to where are they going. Ashram finds two kills, which is huge. Nicely done. Small potato to get one over on the B side. So now moving in. And Freud on site here, but... Nicely done. Oh, but Freud does find Tywood. Gets the kill. Nicely done. Small Potato finds that. Kiko gets St. Germain, though. So the last member is now back um, here for... I, sorry, I say here. Defender spawn for uh, the side of UBC. So Concordia will be able to finish off a round here, perhaps? Yeah, it should be able to. And nicely done. They do find it. Concordia will not drop an entire stinking six rounds in a row anymore as they find that we are one and one all tied up you guys i can't be any happier right now <laughs> than to see that we didn't drop six rounds in a row all right that's that's just what i'm gonna say good job concordia even if we lose this like good job we did it we didn't 
We didn't go down six rounds in the very start. We were able to win, even on a, a, a hard round for us. That's a full save now on the other side, um, which is going to be uh, kind of important. We will see um, the setup, the defense setup here is going to be kind of a solid one from Kiko. He's gonna set, we'll see actually the same setup from Tywood on this map. And the bug is going to have quite the setup here. So he's gonna, the bug is taking a lot of damage. He's essentially using run it back as an entire extra body, but nicely done. Astrum able to find two in this overall. And ah, Tywood not able to get that. Seely finds the kill. As Tywood tried to pull out the, uh, pull out the big guns, wasn't able to uh, get it finished off. But nonetheless, Concordia now going up two to one. The first time. They have a lead, and it's not already, like, 20 rounds deep into this game. Sweet goodness. It's a different Concordia here. And I think Split is one of our worst maps, actually. It's not a great one for us in many ways. Nonetheless, Concordia doing what they can to try and win this, as it's been... A rough game for us right now. Trying to win so many rounds back on Fracture, and then after Fracture, it was simply a trying to just get any sort of wins here on Ascent. Now he's trying to work his way through here is Concordia being slow and steady here to start. Right now, Tywood is working his way through. St. Germain able to find a kill on the backside. Freud gets the kill there onto the bug and small potato also going down. Byron finds St. Germain. And so that's actually going to be Concordia trying to get this as the spike is down. So now they're going to have to work their way left. through. 30 seconds remaining is not any sort of time that Concordia wants here. Nicely done. Tywood able to find a kill, but he's going to have to find a lot more than that. Nicely done. Astrum gets one. Astrum gets two. Now he has to get on and plant the spike. He'll have to do it within the five second mark here. Come on. He got it. He is able to get on point and get the spike planted. Whoo. Nicely done. That was a clutch ult from Tywood leading into the two kills from Astrum. A little miscommunication about exactly where the last member was there. Tywood should have a... Good look here, and he knows exactly where the last member is. So now, nicely done. Tywood able to get that kill onto Kiko. Good shot there. Concordia able to go up now 3-1. That was an important round, too, because that was the buy round out of UBC Aqua. And so now they'll be on a save round here, hopefully allowing Concordia to go up yet another round if Concordia doesn't throw it horrendously. They will be stacking up A, and Concordia is actually looking to do the same here. The bug moving back, and that's Joe Byron going down. There's a lot of stuff there. The bug is not even looking in a good spot. Astrum able to find another kill there. Astrum did use his ult immediately to get things thrown onto site. Three to two is what it's going to be as all the blinds coming around that corner really helped. Nicely done there. The bug able to find a kill onto Seely. Last one up is Kiko, and they should, they might know here. Yep, they do. Astrum able to get the 3k. I didn't get switched over to him in time. But they did spot him out. You can see the pings on the map about where he was, and... Now Concordia has a pretty good setup. Four and one right now it is going to be a buy round coming through from UBC. So now Concordia will have to weather this storm, but they have a good amount of creds for them right now. 
five seconds before the round starts here. Everybody just kind of getting in position. Kiko setting up a very, uh, oh, well, never mind. I thought he was setting up a really cheeky uh, camera kind of in a, a, a funky spot. He hit one with Ty Wood, and I don't really know where he had that planted. But he hit Ty Wood with it, and it was a interesting one I hadn't seen before, and I wanted to see if he'd put it there again, but he did not this time. Ty Wood, though, on the far side, does get a kill. Finds it on Brandon, in fact. They gotta find Freud if they can. That would be another big turn, and that's a big one right there. They find Freud. Now Joe Byron does get the kill. Nice initial frag there, and that's gonna be Joe Byron going down to St. Germain's Bombs there. Seely and Kiko now, the only ones alive. Concordia is looking for the plant. Small Potato, for some reason, had hot hands out. I think it was an accidental push there. Is Here comes the party indeed. St. Germain with the massive 3K. Waiting for them to run through. Well done. You could hear that he was just kind of waiting for that. And a timeout. You can actually hear uh, the Concordia squad from where I'm sitting with all the doors open. They uh, shouted for joy at that one. As Joe Byron will take the timeout for the defenders. 5-1. And this is a big one, too, because now it's once again kind of another round for the side of UBC. They should be able to get the full buy in money-wise. But once again, it's starting to kind of maybe hit them a little bit harder this time that Concordia hasn't lost the six rounds in a row for once. They've actually won five in a row. So Concordia trying to not throw it as hard as they did last time and come out on top in the fashion that they have throughout the rest of the season. Being down six rounds right out of the gate does make it a very tall order. So right now... On the other side, you know, UBC starting to think, all right, well, we haven't actually been down, you know, a ton of rounds. We've been up every game so far. So this is the first one where they're down. They're down 5-1, which is obviously we saw Concordia bring it back. So it's not ever an impossible feat. But the mental strain of trying to get back into the game and that thought process is rough. Nicely done there from Tywood. He finds one but gets traded in return. Will Small Potato see this? He does find the kill on this side. Meanwhile, we'll see the fight come through over here. Astrum finding a kill. The bug does get picked up, though. Joe Byron able to find that kill. And that's a big one. St. Germain finding Freud. I was a little impressed there that he actually got that one. But nonetheless, he only had 20 HP left. Good gracious. Concordia able to go up another round. 6-1 to one now. That was a bit of a that was a save round, not not a bit of was a save round from UBC. They will have their full buy round now. UBC stacking whenever they have the save round. I mean, it is the smart thing to do. Save rounds are are generally you didn't spend a lot of money, so you kind of just try to find a pick and move forward with that slight advantage. You will know something is going on here, a so opportunity for some action to come through for Concordia. St. Germain going to send a lot of util up and through. Brandon, though, is actually hiding in a very cheeky spot. He'll be able to hear anything coming through on the other side. Joe Byron actually flashing himself in that moment. And right here, he's going to see it, but Brandon does take him out. Concordia, though, has actually moved over onto the A side, or the B site, and that's where they have the spike planted. So, Concordia loses a couple members, but does end up getting spike planted. And that's actually a big ultimate coming through here. And he won't... Joe Byron gets the kill. Tywood is here. He's in trouble, though, as that's going to be a good find. Freud is on it. Small Potato getting taken out there at the very end. And now Concordia will lose one here. 6-1. Yeah, you probably should defuse it this time and not miss it like a previous round on Ascent. But 
Concordia up 6-2, to two, as that will be the round one on the other side. That was a good round for him, too, on a full buy round. Winning on full buy rounds is literally all about giving yourself breathing room when it comes to your purchases in the next round. It, it, it just means you kind of get to hang on to those rifles. Obviously, you save that money. don't have to spend it then the next time around. And on top of that, you got a lot more options. So coming through now, Brandon going to take a lot of damage there to start. Joe Byron does get the ultimate out of... Small Potato or kills his ultimate. Astrum finding a nice kill onto Joe Byron. They try to spam through. Seely finds Tywood, though, in that mid skirmish. Nicely done. St. Germain able to get a kill there. So it's 3-4. to St. Uh, Germain with that kill. And the spike is planted by C-U-N-E. Freud now moving forward. St. Germain is here. And that was going to be a really big one, but that's a good res. Brandon is back up. Small potato on site here. He is blinded, and he's trying to get through, but he's not able to. The ultimate's coming through there. That was a big one from Seely, Getting the bra uh, res onto Brandon, who then was able to go through in that round. 6-3 now, Concordia. Dropped two rounds now here. Still looking good money-wise, but now on the other side, their opposition also looking much much healthier there, so. Concordia had a good start to that round, and they were looking, I mean, you could see from the perspective of St. Germain, he was looking for the fact they were going to go for that res onto uh, Brandon. And just was not able to stop it, but that ultimate now is down, so opportunity for Concordia to try to take advantage of that. Next time that Brandon dies, he will die for good. Now Concordia taking a bunch of a, a lot of space here. They're actually able to get all the way onto site. And Tywood finds the kill onto Freud. That's gonna be a big, gonna give a lot of information over to CUNE. Can they get the kill? Brandon does find a kill onto St. Germain. Tywood finds one there, but can he get out of the way now? Small potato gets the kill onto Byron. Byron finding small Brandon finding small Byron finding small potato. Brandon getting that kill, but Astrum. Finds one in return. Brandon, the only one up. He's up against two members of CUNE. That is a nice defense there. Astrum able to get the kill onto Brandon after using a little bit of util, but he was able to keep him off the spike and then push forward and get the kill. So 7-3 for Concordia. We've got two more rounds in this half. Will be another full buy from both sides and Concordia looking to end things. And yes, I have slowly seen the viewer count going down this evening, but that's because it's literally midnight. And so it is very late tonight for anyone to be up watching our games this evening. So we will see the damage starting here. Concordia trying to work their way through mid. What can they find? There's a lot of different smokes and things going on here. Both teams kind of spraying through. What can they find? It's going to be Freud here looking for an initial pick, but he's going to get picked as that was nicely done. The bug and the rest of the squad waiting. Brandon, though, gets the kill. So now Concordia waiting. But unfortunately, Brandon there on the peak does get the kill. So now, what can Tywood do here? He finds the kill. Nicely done. What else can he get? Tywood guessing the corner. Doing a good job of finding just a little bit of information here. Meanwhile, down on site. Tywood finds Joe Byron in that. Now, nicely done. Tywood able to get Seely as well. So the full-on team from Concordia is holding this position. And 
Oh, nicely done. Ashram spraying through there, able to get the kill onto Kiko. Nicely done by CUNE. 8 3. And it will be a bit of a force here on the other side. Half shields and rifles, but. So for Kiko, who is opting to go that. Is opting to go the uh, shotgun this round. I never remember the name of it, so as soon as he switches to it, I'll. No, I believe. it's. I don't know if. It's not the Bucky. I think the Bucky's the. Uh, Automatic one, right? No, no, it is the Bucky. Never mind. All right, so the Bucky, uh, opting to go the Bucky this round. And now Concordia looking for this initial push here. There is the one way that comes through. And now they're going to look for Kiko, and they're trying to find him here on this. Tywood and the rest of the gang. Meanwhile, up here in mid... Concordia right now opting to pull back. Right there. Seely is just kind of waiting on the other side here. Probably not going to jump up on top of her wall quite yet. The wall right now just keeping her safe from anything on that side. Except for when the wall goes down. And then you've got all the rest of Concordia running their way through. Concordia now moving their way onto point. Everybody's still alive and kicking for the time being. Getting flashed out by that is Tywood, and Tywood finds the kill. Position revealed, and yeah, because it's the last round, ultimate's coming through left and right. Freud does find Ashram, and actually finds Tywood as well. So now Concordia just going to kind of hold back. Don't force anything stupid. It will be a 9-4 or 9-3 round for them. But nicely done. Small potato. Here's the footsteps. Takes the corner and finds Freud for his Switching troubles. Side. Concordia on defense now. 9-3 is the score. Uh, good job, Small Potato. That's the damage you don't want to take at the start of a very crucial pistol round. Um, yeah, we did. Uh, we, we caught you in 4K. Now look at this. Look at this. Look at this pathetic man. He has to go heal on the corner because he is bad at video games. Shame. Shame on you, small potato. Shame on you. Are you are you top fragging right now? No, you're not. Okay. <laughs> I was gonna sit there and be like, ah, small potato. Ah, but he like has top fragged the last two uh, games. So Yeah, he has to use his heal because he's dumb and now he's gonna know that the entire squad uh from the other side is gonna be here. So St. Germain going to slowly work his way around. Going to probably find Kiko, though, right here. And not going to win that gunfight, which is going to be very important here. And that bug is going to get some good information there. But we'll see what happens here, because they do know they got the kill over on the other side. Nope, they're going to continue to force up here. And they do find the bug. He's going to be the initial pick for them. Seely and Brandon moving on to the A site. Brandon taken out by Astrum. Nice kill, though, from the small potato. He's trying to change things here for the better if he can. And that is a nice flash, but unfortunately not going to be the case there. They have to pick up the spike to get back onto site. And there is Kiko with the kill onto Tywood. So Concordia losing the pistol round here, but was a bit rough whenever Concordia kind of started it off not in a great position. Small, or, uh, excuse me, Saint Germain getting picked off there at the start was not the play they were looking for. It kind of opened up the field for the side of UBC to go wherever they wanted. They continued on to A, though, because Concordia had to pull some resources to B, which made things very difficult on the defense. So now Concordia looking to try to defend this time around. And they should be hearing this push through here. And the damage comes through. Brandon finds the kill and no return kill, unfortunately, for CUNE. Brandon finds yet another one here. 
and they do find that last kill. St. Germain gets a kill, at least onto Kiko. Trying to find more damage and something in return. Brandon able to run down the last member of CUNE, or the last, one of the last two members of CUNE here. Joe Byron with the last kill. 9-5 is what we're going to be at looking at now, and Concordia has to try and pick up the pace, find the 10th round here, and then move forward. Right now, it is going to be full buys from CUNE. They'll have the rifles this time. They'll have the enough money for rifles this time. On the other side, it's going to be the bonus, so we'll see if UBC is able to do another... You know, pull off another incredible, like, six rounds in a row or something there, as Concordia right now has had the better half here in this round, but things are always even here. Ashtram going to be guessing this corner incredibly early, and he finds at least one, but he does give over a kill and a rifle in the meantime to the other side. J uh, Brandon being the pick that time, which is huge. And a good start for Concordia. Tywood does at least get a tag onto one, so they will have that. Meanwhile, though, we do have Kiko, who is all the way over here. St. Germain in the wrong spot, looking the wrong way. Nicely done here, though, is going to be a good kill, too, from the bug. And what else can Concordia get here? Seely has to run the other direction. Yeah. Ty is going to hear them. Ah, oh, Joe Byron, though, turns the corner and gets the kill onto Ty. He should have been maybe a little more patient there. Joe will get healed up. And the spike will be planted by UBC. It's going to be both Joe Byron and on the other side. Or Joe and... Seely, the bug, and Small Potato in return. Small Potato gets a kill. The bug breaking through the wall. On the other side, they get the kill, so now they have to move on to defuse. And the bug gets the defuse going here. So Concordia is able to find their 10th round. Come on, finish it off, please. <laughs> is able to get round number 10 here, so 10-5 is the score. Concordia looking to try and close this one out. On the other side, they will have full buys. And it really just came down to some unfortunate positioning from Concordia. They thought they had kind of the cheeky plays, but instead it's like Kiko on the flank. And the round four Concordia just did not seem to come into place very well. So we'll have Tywood here holding down the B site. And a nice spray there. Doesn't actually find any damage though onto Ty to get things started. Meanwhile, we do have the ultimate run it back coming through on the other side. St. Germain is here. And Brandon actually finds nothing except for information, which is big. And Concordia right now looking just to kind of hold things down. Seely is going to be planting here to get Spike planted. it all going. And now St. Germain right here, but he's not going to know there's two of them. And so he's going to give away actually quite a bit there. Freud finding St. Germain. Now what can Concordia get back? And that's actually big. Tywood also going down. Small Potato. The bug finds Brandon, which is a big pick initially. And Small Potato at least gets another kill. But that is Small Potato now against the world as he's trying to take on the rest. So Concordia failing to get this round done here. And Concordia not winning this round. It'll be 10-6. Three members remaining on the other side, so. CUNE trying to...
fight back here, and it is going to be a bit of a troublesome round for them because they're going to have to probably end up saving here. The money is a little awkward for them. Had they won that round, it was going to be great as they would have made the money troubles appear on the other side of the round, but Concordia right now not looking too great in this one. So we'll be able to find out, though, that it is a B push. And with that, they are going to have to move on rather quickly and able to get things started. Tywood is here. Nicely done. Tywood finding a good kill initially. It actually slows down the push just a little bit out of the other side. They do throw up the wall to try and get anything done. They find the res too, but Astrum does get a kill onto Kiko. Tywood looking for more. Oh, he's just not able to get it. Tries to find Seelie. Meanwhile, Concordia actually still late to this rotation as it's only Brandon on site. He finds two though, and that's not good as Concordia is very slow to this rotate. Ashram was just not even, like, remotely next to this situation. And that is unfortunate there. 7-10, Brandon able to get the last kill onto Ashram. So, four rounds now here on attacking uh, side for UEC. Means that Concordia has a little bit of thinking to do here, and it is going to be a full-on save round from him now because the last round, like I said, it was a little awkward. Some of them were able to buy, others not able to. And now it is a full save round from CUNE. They will look to stack up here on this other side and find some options here if they can. They are pushing aggressively. And that is going to be Brandon finding Tywood. Not the best initial spot there is Brandon right now finding pretty much everybody from CUNE. And so now Concordia continuing the chase, but that upload does mean that they're going to know exactly where everybody is from CUNE. So now Astro, I'm going to check his corners a little bit better this time. And he'll be found, though, by Brandon, who is able to look down there. Small potato, though, with a nice close shot there. We'll at least find one. Last player standing. Freud finds small potato. St. Germain. Finds one, but he's going to get taken out here from behind here in just a minute as soon as Freud turns the corner, and he does. And so now Concordia down another round here. They need to throw together a solid defense to try to finish this off, but, man, it is... 12.22 here, and I would say everybody's pretty tired. Good morning indeed, Mr. Papa Bear. You don't have to remind me that I am here at what is essentially the next day. <laughs> a Tuesday. Welcome to Tuesday, everybody. It's a great freaking time to play some Valorant. Um, hope the NECC knows that we're very frustrated with the current predicament that we find ourselves in every single time we have to play late into the evening. So, Seeley will be planting the spike and everything now going according to the other plan. Astrum able to find one kill. Nicely done. See what else UNE is able to get done here. They're now finding as much firepower as possible onto site and the bug. After finally a whole bunch of shots does get the kill. On to Brandon. What more can they find? St. Germain able to find Seeley. That means there's only one more left now after Byron falls. Meanwhile, I got Kiko on the back side. He's coming in from spawn. See who he finds. He finds Astrum, but Astrum says no, thank you. Flawless round for CUNE, which is exactly what they needed here in this round. Round 11 now, or 11 rounds now for Concordia. Round 20 is upon us, of course. Concordia has had a really good start to this, but the 9-3 curse could be very real for Concordia in the reverse this time. As it was the 9-3 curse on the other side for Concordia before on Fracture. Now, 
they might be in some trouble here with the 9-3 curse of their own to try and fight against. So Concordia going to hold everything closely guarded. So right now it will be a nice healthy buy for them on the other side. If they're able to win this round, the money will be maybe a little... It should be somewhat healthy still, but maybe a little awkward for them. Freud going to try to... Guess that corner, Ashtrom getting flashed by his own teammate. Makes things all the better. Brandon here mid is seen by Small Potato. Nicely done there. Small Potato finding Joe Byron in the mid. And Tywood trying to do what he can here. And is not able to get the kill, unfortunately, in this direction. And Brandon... Does find Small Potato in the mid part of the map. And unfortunately there, Concordia now has to fight against the fact that there is the res. They find it onto Joe Byron. St. Germain goes down. And the bug does get tagged by that. That's incredible. And now they will move through. Freud is able to find one. Now they just simply are going to overwhelm the bug. And finds one. He's not able to find the third though as that's a 3k for Brandon on the other side. So now they'll move on to point with 11 seconds remaining in the round. They get the plant through. Nicely done there from Tywood as he does get the kill. What more can he get, though, as he's going to be in trouble? Kiko does find him. 11 to 9, and Concordia is just having, honestly, a lot of trouble with these initial fights, I think. They're just not really finding their way, and on the other side, being very succinct with their movements. Also got the fact that uh, Tywood had an opportunity there to kind of stop the ultimate from coming through from Sealy. As he got the res off in the middle of that round, but he just was not able to hit his... Uh, he didn't uh, trigger his cage fast enough. Brandon finding... Ooh, nice initial kill there on to St. Germain. So St. Germain out to start the round, and that's going to be rough because now all they have to do is sort of move around... Small Potato will be here to start, and he's not even looking the right direction. I'm a little concerned there as to what he was thinking there, because right now it was just a it was an easy, you know, look for him, and instead he just throws it and is not able to get the kill. That's a big blind onto two Concordia members here on the backside. So the bug now is going to, oh, well, he was going to watch flank, but now they're both going to try to move through here. Tywood. And the bug. Nicely done there. Tywood finds a kill, but... He's now going to have to try to find his way out of here. They don't have to deal with Brandon on that side right now, but... Still have to deal with the rest of his squad. Tywood... Looking for as much as he can. He finds another kill, but what more can he get here? He's not going to be able to get anything more. He will at least stop Kiko. Kiko will die to the spike, but it is 11-10. And Concordia struggling on defense. Both teams honestly struggling on defense, I guess. You know, Concordia lost three, and right now they've only won two on this side for defense. And it's been a attacker's advantage, you know, or I guess attacking side has been just winning it out. And Concordia now has to do a little bit of work here to get it done.
from sending a couple shots that direction. Joe Byron will be up here. Nice little grenade to go through, but what more is he going to find? And that was going to be good damage onto Brandon, but unfortunately, Astrum not able to find a headshot he was looking for to get things going. Concordia doing what they can, but that's going to be Brandon finding a nice kill there onto the... Uh, onto the man, finding the headshots even. Kiko finds Tywood, so it's only 2v4 now. And finding maybe the kills there. Freud finds the bug, and St. Germain will be in a rock and a hard place. It's 11-11. We're all tied up now. The next team to win a round goes to match point, which is incredibly important right now for Concordia. What's even more important right now, though, is the fact that that was a bit of a force round from them. And so now they have the difficult situation of being not only on a save, they are on a save round here. So they'll have to save. I once again it. bump my. Joe Byron, I'm not sure if he saw the Ashram play this time. Nicely done from Tywood to find at least one so far. He tries to find more. Seely finds small potatoes, so that means that Concordia is down a member here when they get started. St. Germain, though, finds the kill. Brandon, though, getting a kill onto St. Germain and the bug. Now also going down Tywood on site as well. Astrum is the only one left alive, and that will be Freud finding the kill there. So Concordia now had the save round, which means they should have a full buy here, but it is going to be for match point. And so now Concordia, the 9-3 curse is real. It is against them now. And they are going to try to find this round to send us to overtime. On the other side, it's going to be an interesting start to this round for sure. As right now, Concordia... Wanting to find some answers here. Finding a little bit of information if they can. It's going to be a mid push, though. And both teams are all set up here mid. St. Germain is holding here. Both teams kind of set mid at the moment. So it's really sort of both of them trying to find the first initial pick. It's going to be... Incredibly important here. That's a good ultimate coming through from Small Potato. It will at least say one is in the direction of B main. But they do know he's here, and Joe Byron able to flick that. Incredible. Ashram holding this position the best he can. Brandon kills the bug. Tywood finds Freud at least. And now he's going to have to find more on site. They are going to rotate back the other direction. Nice kill there. Can he find two, three? That's the nicely done 3K. The Astrum defends. I thought he was a little early on that and that they'd at least find him and get the return kill after he killed Seely. But instead, Astrum able to find three members there in his hideout position. And now we go to overtime. Concordia starting on attack, which honestly is a little bit of the feels better position right now for either team. If Concordia can win on this attack, then obviously that'll give them a nice little advantage. But on the other side, defense being kind of the, I won't call it the harder position to play right now, but it, it, you know, looking at who's been doing hot and who's not. Attacking side has had the fun so far in this game. Concordia are going to hold off here as they destroy that dog and now wait for a little bit before pushing forward. Concordia are going to push forward onto site, see what they can get done. Joe Byron is on site. He's going to find two. 
It's a big pickup there. Brandon able to find Tywood. So that's a 3K immediately off the bat for the other side. And that's really not going to be what the Doctor ordered. And they do find a kill. So can they get the turnaround? Unfortunately not because Spike has been spotted. St. Germain is in trouble. So looks like Concordia will lose the initial... Defense here and or attack. And that will be Joe Byron getting the 3K in that round. He found the first two right out the gate. As Concordia looked like they were gonna get some good pressure onto A, but then unfortunately they just could not finish it off. So match point for UBC. They've been here before, and we're gonna have a timeout from Joe Byron here in overtime. This could be a nice little timeout for Concordia to try to get their act together as well. But right now, Concordia has been defending like absolute potatoes. So it's not looking great. That was a big round for UBC, honestly. And I think that might even just secure them the win here. Only because Concordia right now on defense has been just playing like a... Abs yeah, just potato aim, not not even checking some good corners and holding out in good spots, but just not taking serious, like, I guess they're not calling in their rotations quicker. And maybe I am completely off with that thought, but I just feel like anytime Concordia does get up a member or two, they go immediately down those two members again, and then Spike's planted, and it's a retake with 3v1 or... 4v2 so it's never Concordia has not been winning the trade wars in any way here on the defensive side so that I think was Concordia's opportunity and I think Concordia now is going to have to get really some good positioning here they do find the initial scent that you know they are going to be going towards the B site or A site Good pick there from Tywood. That's massive. That's the first thing they want to do. Find the first pick and now move forward. Spike has been planted, though, from UBC, so that's going to be advantage for them right now. And that's Tywood just going in uh, every time. He goes in extremely aggressive. And that is going to be Concordia, though, being up a couple members here. And that's Astrum finding the last kill, so... Concordia defuses, which means that we, once again, are 13-13, all tied up. Concordia to start on attack once more. So that was a really good round for Concordia. They sniffed out that the attack was going to be on A with the camera, and immediately the rotation was called in. The thing I kind of just said before they were not doing. Not only that, finding the first frag in that round and finding it on... Brandon, the top fragger at 31 kills right now, is exactly the play that they needed. And right now, Concordia more than ever is looking for this next round to come through. Brandon is going to be up top. Joe Byron once again just destroying CUNE with these. But nicely done. They find Brandon. They find Joe Byron. Now they find some damage onto Freud. And Freud is going to be at 76 health here up top, and the spike will be planted. Concordia getting the push here. Nicely done. Both teams previously winning on defense hard. Now Concordia has one member up and spike planted. Let's see what they can finish off here. Ashram doing some damage, but the bug able to find one. The bug finds two, and Tywood finding the last kill onto Seeley. Concordia winning on attack. Now they just have to defend and win this game. Match point now available for CUNE this time. I got enough time to go into the Astro Probe. I don't know what more to say other than Concordia on this one. This time around needs to be quick again on their rotation or find the initial pick they're looking for, but it looks like it will be the A stack coming through on the other side. Concordia not even looking A at the moment. They'll be looking for a retake on that site, if anything. 
and they now know that A has been pushed. Spike planted. The bug is going to just hide here in the corner. Nicely done. Finds Brandon right off the gate. Nice little cheeky play there. Actually learned that from Brandon in the previous round. Freud able to get the kill onto the dog. And now Hot Hand's going through. Seely is in that corner, but is not going to be taking the damage there. Joe uh, Byron does find a kill initially. And Kiko gets one onto Ashtram. Small Potato is here. He looks towards the spike, and unfortunately that's not the play he needed to look at. And he does get taken out, so we are once again all tied up. Attackers winning the round that time. Small Potato does get the kill onto Joe there, ironically enough. And now Concordia once again has to attack. It was looking very promising, but then they just tried to kind of push through a little bit too quickly, I think. And messed up a couple other spots. They should have been a little slower. They got Brandon, then push him back. And instead, they get the kill and then pushed in to the really defensive positions that were held, especially by Kiko. Or, uh, yeah, Kiko. So, looks like a heavy setup now for on the A site for UBC, which is going to be the site Concordia chooses. They're choosing it a little bit late here, which could help a little bit with maybe throwing off the timing from UBC. But right now, UBC holding this position, and... Brand holding up high here as they... Try to move around, but now Tywood is trying to look for more information here. Bad camera placement, unfortunately, there for him, and so... Nice. Oh, Seely finds the kill onto Tywood, which is a really big break on that side. The bug, the only... One of two members up. Now the only member up. Small Potato, who is locked in here mid. And so now Concordia is going to lose this round. They got too aggressive there. And Tywood not winning that trade. So now Concordia is going to go down this one. Small Potato will look around the corner and find two members there. Celia and Freud. This is now UBC again with the advantage match point. with match point. So both teams have now had kind of the opportunity on match point. And UBC gets the second opportunity here for match point for themselves. Concordia spreading out and looking for every couple different options. It looks like it might be a B push this time from UBC. Concordia still set up pretty even tone as far as where they're going to be looking. A little bit of a mid push maybe here to start Joe Byron. They both peek the corners here. It's going to be small potato holding here. He's going to see a star come through and the wall go up. Now throwing hot hands through as there's going to be a lot of damage thrown through. Freud, though, first takeout. St. Germain able to get that kill. Tywood finds Brandon Seeley, though. Gets the nice trade back. Going to be up a man is Concordia. And right now, they do at least have a really good idea of where everybody is. Nicely done. Small potato finds the kill, but can he get the other one? Nope. Seeley is able to trade that one back. Seeley actually should have ultimate here. No, Seeley will be one away from ultimate Kiko finding that kill. Ashram is here looking for this rotation. St. Germain on the back seconds. side with 30 seconds left here. St. Germain, unfortunately, they're revealing his location. He wasn't able to get the pick quick enough there. They know one's rafters. That's going to be where Ashram is looking. And that's going to be really unfortunate. They know the last one will be entry here. 
St. Germain is going to have to look up. Finds the kill. St. Germain is going to have to look back. Finds Kiko. Nicely done. Can he get the defuse? Yes, he can. So, 3k for St. Germain. That absolutely clutched the round out. And once again, we go. Oh, there goes the rocket. Bye, rocket. Overtime again. Round 31. It's 1244 NECC. I'm tired as frick. Uh, please don't put us in Pacific Coast time ever a freaking again. Every game we have played is past 9p. My filters come off if anybody is still watching. Are you still watching, Mr. Papa Bear? If you're still watching, my filters come off. It's going to be unhinged, unhinged coach commentary from here on out. If we win this game, it will be absolutely insanity. If we lose this game, the NECC is going to hear it. Well, you know what? The NECC is going to hear about it, win or lose. I'm just so flustered that we have to play this freaking late at night. Small Potato finds Brandon. Brandon finds St. Germain. We've got trade. So top fragger for second fragger, or second to bottom fragger. So we trade right now for Concordia. We'll see how much more they can get. Joe Byron is the pain in our existence here on the A site. Can Concordia get him taken out or no? We'll have to see what happens here. Tywood trying to find the trade here, but he is now incredibly low on HP. And Joe Byron is literally right around this corner here, and Concordia now has to move away. They're trying to find maybe a push onto the B site, but that's not going to happen. It's a 3v4 now. Concordia down a man. And down quite a bit of health, too. So right now, Tywood sitting at 11 health and a dream. Meanwhile, you've also got Small Potato, who's right now sitting okay in his position. No charges left. Oh, nicely done. Small Potato able to win that battle. And they now have to try to get the spike planted. They will be able to get it planted. Will Ty would be able to get away? He does, in fact, get away for now. And he does find that they are at least up in heaven in this direction. Concordia with an opportunity to get... Yet again, an opportunity for match point. If we can pull it off. Nicely done there from Small Potato to know where they are, but unfortunately they get the kills. And they're looking for Spike. Nicely done from Tywood. He finds the kill there, but can he find anything more? It's another fake. He knows it. Nicely done. Clutch from Tywood. He's able to climb down. Oh, come on. Let's just be done with this. Match point, if anybody can defend on this effing map, I swear to goodness. Seems like right now, Concordia has been able to defend at least one time. Uh, and win on attack on the other, and that's been it. That's literally been it. Concordia has to defend. This is it. Please let me go home. Let me go to bed. Gloria in its just cringiest moments of all time. <sighs> B site is where they are looking currently. They look to get this mid pressure though, as that would be probably their best bet right now to crack the code as to which direction they want to go. If you take mid, then you kind of get a little bit more options whenever you're moving this way. He's going to see the toes. Nicely done, but Brandon is able to find the first frag, which means Tywood dies. Concordia down a member already, and the B site is belonging to UBC. I hate this freaking game. I hate it so much. Concordia looking for something here, but right now, with Brandon alive on the other side, the aimbot is real. Kiko finds Ashram, which is not a good initial pick here in Concordia right now, trying to find anything. But Joe Byron literally can't miss! Flanking on the backside is Kiko, as freaking always, a flawless round for UBC, and I am just so tired of this.
Overtime. So now here's the thing. University of British Columbia is two hours behind us. If it's almost 1 a.m. here, if it's almost 1 a.m. here, that means it's almost 11 o'clock for them. That's not late, NECC. We were tired at 11 o'clock. We started this particular map at freaking midnight itself. Kiko looking for whatever he can here. He does have the one-way advantage, so he's going to try to spam through it. He isn't going to find anything right out of the gate, but Concordia now finds two mid. That's good picks. What else can we get for this? Meanwhile, on the backside, you do have Freud. He's looking for this nasty little sneaky, sneaky snake boy. <sighs> I'm tired, everybody. This is just ridiculous. Concordia has two kills up on the other side. Meanwhile, this guy here is probably going to find two kills back and will be all dead even. Never mind. Tywood finding a nice little kill there. A site is open for CUNE. What can they find? Can they get the spike planted? Please, for the love of our good lord and savior who died this upcoming Friday for our souls, please plant the spike on A. Thank you. Die, Kiko. Kiko dies. Thank goodness. St. Germain did it. Thank you, St. Germain. Thank you. You're a saint, literally, in the name and everything else. Concordia able to win, but we're not done because it's overtime rules. <sighs> Once again, everybody, if you don't know, this is the time of year when Jesus went to Jerusalem and suffered. Uh, it was Last Supper. Um... Yeah, we're getting religious now on you because I, I've run out of commentary. I mean, we all know what the frick's happening in, over, in Overwatch, right? Yeah, this is Overwatch. Welcome to Overwatch commentary. It's 1... Going to be 1 a.m. here in, in literally 10 minutes. Concordia moving in. Or sorry. <laughs> I just casted the, the wrong team. Uh, UBC moving forward. Small Potato. Astrum finds the kill onto the main guy. Small Potato finds it on Freud. That's two freaking kills. Can we please end? Astrum dies. And unfortunately, Joe Byron is there as well. What more can Concordia get? The spike has been planted. <sighs> I'm tired. St. Germain finds a kill. Thank the Lord Almighty. But Kiko is too good at this game. Somebody please stop him. Seely dies. That's finally it. It's 1 a.m. I'm tired as frick. Let's go to bed. Defuse it for the love of crying. Uh... GG's. GG's. That's it. That's it. That's the end of the game. Thank you, everybody, for watching. I hate this game so much, and I really dislike that the NECC put us in a time zone that is two hours early, later than... It's 1 a.m. Good night, everybody.